Surly, you must be kidding. Sorry, I'm trying to think of a good pun, but... Oh, a good pug? Having a Michael Scott moment. All right, what's going on, guys? Got another awesome custom e-bike build for you today. This is a Surly Pugsley fat bike. And I'm gonna go over all things about this bike, what we did to this bike. We'll do a top speed test. Um, it's getting too dark to do a hill climb test. As you guys know, if you were raised by parents, good parents, they said never hill climb um, on e-bikes when it's getting dark out. So I'm gonna heed their advice that I heard some 30 years ago. And uh, never hill climb uh, after dark. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I'm a custom e-bike builder, um, vendor. Behind me is all the, all the goodies, all the chocolate factory. Not chocolate, but e-bike stuff. So if you have any questions about this, if you want, you want help building your own e-bike, go to johnnynerdout.com, call our shop, text us, call us, whatever. Book a consultation with me if you want me to go in the nitty gritty of builds and get into the granular details. Go ahead and book a consultation. It's all on the website. But anyways, we're gonna talk about this bike, obviously this is a big bike. <laughs> this is for a big human being, bigger than me. Surly is awesome brand. If you guys are into bikes, you can tell this person is into bikes. Surly is a, is a, it's a great brand. It's steel frame, steel is real. Surly just makes good bikes. It's kind of a cult. I would say it's kind of a, a cult brand maybe. They just, they just make cool stuff. I don't know what else to say it. But this is 26 by 4.0 tires. So this is a fat bike. Uh, but it's still not crazy heavy, even though it's steel and it's fat bike. That's because this is like a good quality made bike. Obviously, it's a little bit heavier now that we converted it. We put a 1000 uh, watt BBS HD UART motor on it. This is the 100 millimeter version. You can put a 120 millimeter version on this and then just put spacers in it. But, you know, depending on what size frame, like the chainstay, what size frame you have. This one's obviously, I think, an extra large. This one's a, a very big one. If it's at least a large, if not an extra large. This one fit fine with 100. We were not able to put on that locking cap, though, the outer lock ring. So it only has the inner lock ring on it. But the outer lock ring is just for pretty much decoration and keeping a little bit of moisture out of it and stuff like that. It's but it's not doing any heavy, heavy lifting really. So I would recommend going with the 100 millimeter if you're thinking about doing this. This has the 10 by drivetrain. We tried to put on just the stock 40 tooth, but the chain line was just so out of whack that it was, it was not good. So we went with the Lecky 42 tooth Pro. The Pro is made for the 10 to 20, or I'm sorry, 10 to 12 speed chains. It's just, it can handle those thinner chains. And this has really good offset. So it brings the chain line back in towards the bike so that it's not jumping around on you know, your low gears. We went with the 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery pack and it's held on by the Triple Bob by Grin. And again, I have the links to all these in the description if you're like, what are you talking about? Say that again. This is a 1300 watt hour battery. So it's got massive range. This is a huge, huge battery. Even if you were going just th full throttling at it, like 30 miles an hour burning like 40 watt hours a mile, you would still get probably over a 30 mile range just throttling it, riding it like a scooter. But if you're pedaling and you're doing 25 miles an hour, you're probably gonna get 40 to 50 mile range. If you're going like smelling the roses, you're just like, hey, we're just out cruising. 70 to 80 miles, even on this bike, is highly realistic. The display is the P850C display. Nice big color display, USB charge port. We got the throttle over here, we got mechanical brake cutoffs that just cut power when you're hitting it so you don't accidentally send power. Got the gear shift sensor right here. Cuts power for like half a second in between gear shifts. Besides that, I mean, it was that's pretty much it. It was a kind of a simple build. We just wanted to keep it straightforward. Just wanted to get a great e-bike and let's, let's get it going. And that's what we did. Kept it kind of simple. I really think this turned out great. And uh, yeah, let's go do a top speed test. So you can see 36 miles an hour, not bad at all. And this was on 54 volts. So this is a 52 volt battery, charges up to 58.8. So if this was fully charged, I'd imagine another mile an hour or two. I'd say this hitting 37, 38 miles an hour. Not street legal, that's up to you. Don't ride it like a, like a maniac. And again, this is the argument why don't, I don't think that we should be legalizing how fast these things can go. I think we should be legalizing how fast you're able to ride them but I don't think we should put a horsepower cap on our cars. I don't think any car should be tapped at 90 horsepower. 
That's why we have speed limit signs. We just say, hey, your car can go this fast, but don't go faster than this. Anyways, I'm gonna get off of that high horse, that soapbox. And again, <laughs> I forgot, where am I? What happened? I blacked out. I started talking about e-bike laws. Um, oh yeah, and this has got a Brooks, Brooks saddle. Pretty freaking cool. You can tell this guy loves, loves his bike. This is prepped for a belt drive, but this has nothing to do with this. But in the future, he could put a roll off on it. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. Later. Mm, my mustache is tickling me. <laughs>